Welcome back everybody. Good morning. We woke up to kind of a cloudy morning. It's starting to clear up a little bit. But nowhere near as hot as it's been. It's only 79 degrees right now, so it feels real nice. Today's going to be kind of an easy day. Today we just need to head up to Virginia Beach. We're going to ride the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel. And then from there, we're going to ride up until Delaware. And in Delaware, we take the Cape May and Lewis Ferry. We only have a little over four hours of actual riding. And then we got some errands to run. There were a couple of items that I was missing. So I ordered them on Amazon and had it shipped to an Amazon locker along my route. And then I need to find the hardware store. I want to get some heat shrink tubing so I can secure the microphone adapters. Because I can't afford to lose another one. And I need to find some sort of solution for my trunk. When you open the lid of the trunk, it has these two straps on the side. Well, one of them broke on me finally. So yeah, just a couple of things to do and uh, not too much riding today. Now, I will say this. I'm not sure yet if we're actually going to do the bridge and tunnel and the ferry today. That's going to depend on what time we finish everything. And it's going to depend on the weather. There's a possibility of a storm coming through and we don't want to be on a bridge nor on a ferry when the weather is bad so we'll see how that works out we might stay the night in a hotel right at virginia beach so we'll do the bridge and tunnel tomorrow and the ferry as well so we'll see how it goes all right let's get rolling i bet you these trucks are going to the military base in virginia oh sure This might not last long, but it's nice to be off the highway for a little bit. Beautiful farmland, trees, really pretty. This is actually a lot of fun. After two and a half days of riding on the highway, this is a welcome change, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, and I'm not crazy about it by the looks of this traffic. <laughs> Keep me out of the cities. This is no fun. Our right, first tunnel. Well, this sucks. It's not so bad. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to move. 264 Virginia Beach. That's what we need. All right, so supposedly it's in this place. Hopefully they're still open. Hi. Just one box. I come in peace. I bring gifts. See guys, this is how much I believe in the items I review. I left mine at home and I ended up ordering another one on the road just because I don't want to be without it. So when I tell you that we use them, we really do use them. Second item was my hard drive, which I have the same one, but like an idiot, I forgot to empty it <clears throat> before I left home and the drive is almost full, and I don't know if I have that content backed up or not. That was a very expensive lesson. Alright, so we picked up our gear. Good old Amazon came through. Remember that when you're on the road, if there's anything you need, you broke, you forgot. Just go on Amazon, look up a location along your route, have it shipped there. Plan to have it delivered at least, at least a day before you plan on arriving. I would even take two days. Another good thing is that it's only 5.45 right now. 
Hopefully we'll be able to get to bed early tonight and start bright and early in the morning and fall into that routine. This might be us here, the quality in. Yep. Time to check in. Good morning, two-wheeler family. We just checked out of the hotel and now we're headed towards the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel. The weather looks good right now, but there's 80% chance of storms coming in. Um, hopefully we'll get out of here before those storms come, because they're supposed to be pretty severe. It's pretty much the whole area, so if we can get out of here fast enough and get to New Jersey, we might be in the clear. So the plan for today is to cross the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel, get out on the other side in Delaware, and from there we're going to continue up to Lewis. And then from Lewis, we're going to take the ferry over to Cape May, New Jersey. And then depending on the time, we'll see how much further north we go. But that's the, the basic idea. Nothing's set in stone. This is one of those trips where we don't have a time crunch. We're kind of taking it day by day and depending on how we feel. Speaking of how we feel, last night we went out for dinner before getting back to the room and I'll tell you something did not agree with my stomach I woke up this morning feeling terrible uh, just really bad cramping and stomach pains it, it was really really awful So we are finally on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel. This thing to me is a marvel how they built it. From a bridge over the water to a tunnel under the water and back over the bridge. It's just amazing. We got some other travelers. So at this point we're headed towards the ferry and we spot two other riders. Well, we get a closer look at their tags and it turns out they're riding out from California. Good, how are you? Florida. How about you? Los Angeles. Wow. You Orlando and now back up through here in Canada on Route 66 back home. Well, we're, we're heading up towards Canada too. Nice. Have a safe ride. California. I saw that. I was like, oh shit, California. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. You from California too? Well, from Florida. You're Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually just met up with them a couple of lights down. <laughs> yes, I have the barcode if you need it. So the ship got a little rocky here. Huh? This is better than the dragon. <laughs> yeah. And hey, all that and you didn't drop the pretzel. Everything's still upright. Well, that was so awesome. That was so much fun. It was. I really enjoyed that more than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I did this drive the first time 25 years ago. But uh, the first time I did it, I always said I want to come back and do this on a motorcycle. It only took me 25 years. Hey, but you did it. 
Yeah. All right, welcome back, folks. Well, we have arrived in Cape May, New Jersey. Um, it is currently 66 degrees. It's a huge uh, weather change from before. Um, we're still wearing like t-shirts and shorts underneath and they're like mesh summer gear and hopefully we'll be okay we won't go too much colder than that um now we had planned to stop by wildwood new jersey and Atlantic city that whole area but the way that it's looking right now i don't see it as being worth it you can't really walk on the boardwalk and enjoy yourself it's just not fun so we're gonna skip that part for now i did just get in touch with a cousin of mine I haven't seen in uh, a couple of years. He invited us to come up and uh, stay with him, he promised us some beers and a cookout. So, slight change of plans, but you know, you gotta roll with the punches. Weather sucks, can't do what you wanted to, so do the next best thing. You eat steaks and drink beer. So that's the plan, we're heading up there, and we'll check back with you soon. All right, so we are currently on the Garden State Parkway. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the weather's crap. It is 66 and drizzling at the moment. And uh, I changed to my winter gloves. These are the Climb GTX uh, something. I'll put it up on the screen. And since it started drizzling, these are also Gore-Tex waterproof, so don't have to worry about that either. And that's about it for now. So we got about two hours of riding to get to Brooklyn, New York. Hopefully it's warmer there than it is here. And I can't wait to meet his dogs. He's got two beautiful dogs, a Husky and a Alaskan Malamute. So I'm excited to meet them. So yeah, people, we had to pull over because we're quite cold. It's uh, 64 degrees and dropping rapidly. Well, it doesn't seem like much. We're wearing shorts and mesh t-shirts. We still got almost two hours of riding to go. And it is cold. Well, they didn't have anything long sleeve, just t-shirts, which we already have. So I'm gonna put on one of my t-shirts. And I was just about to do that, and it started pouring. I see him. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's got some hoodies in there. So I'm gonna go and get under that canopy before I get soaked. Here we're checking the weather radar to see if we should wait it out or continue to ride. And this is the last video I shot that day. We did continue riding and it continued to rain. Soon the sun had set and it got colder, but neither of those were the issue. Remember I mentioned eating something bad earlier? Well, it turns out I likely got food poisoning. Because after about an hour of riding, we had to stop, and I spent the next hour vomiting. So we postponed the meet up until tomorrow, and just got a room in hopes that I would feel better tomorrow. 